All right, we just got up on this roof, looking at some damage here to measure for a roof estimate. And uh, honestly, the reason I'm pulling this phone out and filming today is because the amount of bullets I find in roofs. I just got up here, literally. Parked the truck over here, set a ladder up. This is a vacant home. The estimate request came in over the weekend. Jumped up here, literally just walked over to here, kind of check things out. And I see some right down here that caught my eye. And I've done a video in the past about this how many bullets and roofs I find. It's a shame that I find two to three bullets in a roof and it blows my mind because I'm not on every roof in town here in Kokomo, but the roofs I do, I do find them. It's a shame that's two to three too many that I find. I mean, maybe I'm just more observant, but look at this. I see that right away. I'm like, okay, let's check this out right here. You look right there in the sunlight. You can clearly see that impression. That is actually a little rifling. It's probably not from a rifle. It looks like a nine millimeter. But you can see where the rifling to get the bullet to spin is. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Clearly a bullet. Clearly a round. Looks like a 9mm if it'll focus. I was going to go live just so you guys could see this live up here. But the live video to YouTube probably wouldn't show how cleanly, you know, the, the clear... Um, it's a little degraded quality when you're trying to go live on YouTube. This is bad. What goes up must come down, unless you're Elon Musk, but when this fires up, it's gonna get to a point where it goes zero mile an hour, and then right back down, gravity's gonna pull it down and plow into the roof. And you don't ever want that to happen. Unfortunately, around New Year's, you hear bangs going off, and some people out there aren't the brightest, and they shoot their guns up, and it's pretty bad. It's pretty damn dangerous. Luckily, this didn't go any deeper than that. Chances are it had lost a lot of its energy, but it still comes down pretty quick. It took a lot of force just to bust into this, and the reason it didn't go any further, I imagine, is because this roof is three layers. It's got three layers of shingles and one by, so it's pretty stiff, rigid wood, and it kind of dispersed the impact of this bullet, but this can do some serious damage. I wouldn't want to take the slim risk of it coming down on me. Ugh. Can't name the name of the, the neighborhood this is in, but it's in Kokomo. As I said before, it's just a shame that this happens, that I find this. Um, man, while we're up here, let's just do a quick walk over things real fast. I literally just came up here and saw this, and I figured, ah, I got to show this. got to do a little video of it. Where should I put this? I think maybe my office desk, a little trophy. Well, I wouldn't even call it a trophy. It's just a reminder of what stupid stuff goes on. My home office, I don't know. So, yeah, there's some serious bad wood. Set the ladder up down here. You can see... Gutter's falling off, fascia board is rotted, the wood decking is bad. Somebody had done a repair here at some point because those are clearly newer shingles than the rest of this. And let's see if I can pull you down around here. Shingle starter, shingle starter, and a third layer down here with one vise in there. Hopefully I have that in frame. I've done other videos in the past. By the way, the video on this bullet round, I'll probably try to throw an old video. It's not a very good one, but it goes back a few years when I was talking about it. Also, other videos where I've shown, if you're going to do a roof over, do not just roof over, literally roof over everything. You've got to tuck under your flashings, your flanges, your chimney flashing, whatever it is. Otherwise, what happens is you get rotten wood down here like this because water coming down on your new layer of roof is getting onto this old flange that you failed to tuck. And then it runs down under, you can see the lighting, under this row of shingles, and then it's trapped into any previous layer. It's just not good. It's what's causing all this rot out, let alone three layer of shingles. It's just not good. <sighs> it's a shame. That scares me. I'm glad I don't live in this neighborhood. This is a vacant home. It's the only reason I'm doing this video. Got a garage over here. Three layers of shingles. Not good. Spongy wet spot over here. It's got some... Uh, Issues going on for sure. A lot of work tearing this off. If you guys are a homeowner, you got trees growing up in your roof, definitely cut them back, get them removed. If you can't do it, hire somebody to do it. Because what happens, oh, speaking of Elon Musk, I just saw a tweet come across. He's probably tweeting about Dogecoin or something. Good time to get in. <laughs> um, yeah, that stuff will rot or wear out, cause mechanical damage to your shingles. Not good. Trim them back. The other thing I just noticed stepping over right here is it gives an invitation for wildlife and critters to get up on your roof. Clearly evidence that something was up here need i say what that is no i don't and i see a rotten spot right down here so then it gives them a nice dry shelter to climb right up into under here nice stream of tar through the valley that's going to do a lot really it's a pretty simple house other than the fact that there are three layers of shingle tear off time to wrap up the video just a quick one for you so i can show you 
yes, unfortunately, I do find two to three per year too many of these in the roofs. So if you're ever contemplating going bang, 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 think twice. Could hit one of your family members or cause damage or cause a leaky roof for you or your neighbor. So hopefully uh, you don't do it. Think twice if you do. Consider subscribing if you haven't. Give it a thumbs up down below. Comment what you like to see, what you don't like to see so I know what to film. I don't know without you guys' input. I appreciate it. Until next time, be safe. We'll see you on the next one.